All right, so it's been uh, it's been a few versions of Morris Ring since I posted a video, uh, just covering some of the basic features. Uh, since the last video, uh, a number of things have been modified, improved, and uh, a couple things have been added as well. Um, so I've updated on on my phone here, and let's uh, let's fire it up and see what it looks like. Um, as before, you still have the preview button on the settings. You still have the uh, the enable ringtone option which basically installs or uninstalls the uh, the ringtone itself um, still works the same way uncheck it it the, the ringtone becomes in, inactive basically um, and if I check it again it's the ringtones installed um, and as usual I need to go to the system settings uh, for the for the uh, the ring to set the phone's ringtone so I'll go to sound and display, uh, phone ringtone, and find uh, Morris ring ringtone here. There we go. Go ahead and select that, and say OK. And of course, there's no preview because again, it's a uh, it's a dynamically created ringtone. Um, oops, bumped the wrong button there. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the home screen and load Morris ring back up. Um, Jump into the general options here. This use start signal is a new uh, new option to Morris Ring, and basically that uh, it can be used to give you sort of a warning that you've got an incoming call coming, and uh, you should start paying attention, listening to the Morris code so you can interpret it. Uh, let's go ahead and just see what that sounds like. Well, first of all, let's let's go let's go back to the the preview and just see what it sounds like without it first. This is, of course, the, the string Morris. Okay, so that's just the string Morris. Um, but if we wanted to turn on the start signal, we go into general options and check use start signal, and go back and preview that, and that will append the start signal to the message. Just something to give you a little warning to that there's a message coming in. Alright, let's uh, leave that as it is, and there is also now the choice of of a tone, an audible tone, or a vibrate. Um, the audible tone, of course, you just heard, it just beeps the, the Morse code. The vibrate vibrates Morse code, so if you wanted to have your phone in your pocket and have it on silent, then you could still tell uh, that a call was coming in and who the call was coming from. Um, so let's go ahead and select vibrate and I'm not sure how well this will come through on the audio but we'll give it a shot alright so there you go now going down farther here we got audible tone options and vibrate options the audible tone options um, of course you got your speed and your tone uh, as we've looked at before the vibrate options has a separate speed setting and the reason for this is the vibrator uh, really is is useless if it's going too fast so these uh, speed settings are a little bit slower than the um, than the ones used for the audible tone so let's select select uh, 10 words per minute that's that's not too bad and uh, let's listen to that again All right, so just a little bit slower, and uh, just important to note that if you switch between audible and vibrate, the speed in particular is, you know, set independent um, um, for those two options. And I think that's uh, kind of a summary of the the new version of uh, Morris Ring.